Hello everybody and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and welcome to another Taskmaster Challenge. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and as always, my competitors are Stealth 17 Gaming, History Guy Gaming, Brother Monroe, and the Serious Strategy Gamer. This week's challenge is sent to us from Stealth who had a, uh, a viewer suggest a little bit of a backstory on this one. The year is 1899, Spain just lost the Spanish-American War. After the defeat, the Spanish government has lost some faith in its indigenous shipyards and is looking for some new ships abroad. You are one of the foreign bidders for a new fleet of all-purpose ships for the Spanish Navy. You are taking on the role of the, the foreign shipyard of your choosing. It can't be American, Spanish, or German, and have to design a class of ships able to take on every possible enemy aside from the largest enemy battleships. To win the contract, you have to prove the capabilities of your ships in a war game against the German Navy, made up of slightly older 1890s tech, ships of all available classes, which end up being two battleships, two cruiser armor, two cruiser lights, and four torp boats. So, with that being said, the design requirements, a maximum ship length of 333 feet. A maximum gun caliber is 12 inches. Also, your ships have to be, uh, have to be able to travel around the world to prove Spain's might, and therefore have to have very long range. Wind conditions. The winner is determined by total price of the fleet, which has to have at least three ships, but may be as large as you deem appropriate. Every ship you lose during the engagement will count twice for the bid. May your engineering and tactical finesse prove the worth of your shipyard. So, we're going to go into this with five ships. There's going to be a class of ship built, and we're going to be building five battleships. Now, the big stipulation here is the length requirement. So I had to do a little bit of searching around for a hull that could work for a battleship. And so the French have a hull that actually works. Uh, it's not this one. Spoiler alert. It's this cute little puppy here. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? Now, right off the bat, you'll notice our length is 361 feet. That's not going to cut it. we got to drop that down. So we're going to drop our weight down or our displacement down as far as we can just enough to drop the length of the ship there it goes that's too far let's go back up just a hair Seventeen fifteen, seventeen thirty-five. All right, seventeen thirty-five is the maximum tonnage that we can get away with, and still stay under that three hundred and thirty-three feet. Now I'm sure because three hundred and thirty-three feet isn't something that somebody just pulled out of their backside. One of these guys that plays this game more than me knows that there's a hole out there that has the capability of being three hundred and thirty-three feet exactly. I guarantee it. Somebody's gonna do it. I'm going to guess it's probably Mr. Stealth, but I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, we're going to go out with this French battleship. Uh, we're going to try to make this thing work. All right. So first thing, we need to set the range to very long. Okay, that's maximum. Also, I don't hate this. It kind of looks like a tugboat, but I don't hate it at the same time. It's an iron side. I kind of like it. Kind of like it. But uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to drop this down. Uh, let's drop our speed down. We're not going to need that where we're going. So, uh, yeah, we'll just drop that speed all the way down. These are not going to be fast ships. They're going to be bulky, uh, hopefully. And they're going to hit, hit the things, hopefully. So if we go up, we can save some weight, but that's going to cost. Unfortunately, can't avoid it. Uh, we can only use coal. And we only have natural or induced. We're going to go with natural boilers. Uh, and we'll, we'll check our engine efficiency after the fact. So let's go ahead and throw a main tower on this thing real quick.
Uh, let's see. We can save some weight and save some, uh... Yeah, let's just go with the best. Let's go with the best. There we go. Secondary tower. Again, let's go with the best. There we go. It's a strange-looking battleship. It is, it is strange. But I don't mind it. I don't actually hate it. That's the thing. Like, as, as goofy looking as this thing actually is, I don't hate it. It kind of looks like a bath toy, but I don't hate it. I don't know why. Let's see what we can get away with as far as smokestack. The lightest gives us 86.6. That is plenty. We'll take it. Got to have at least two main guns. So, two centerline guns. The maximum that we could use is 12 inches. We can't even do that. So we've got 10 inch guns. There we go. Not bad. I actually like the look of those turrets too. All right. Again, I don't hate them. I, I don't know what it is about this ship that makes me enjoy it so much. Move that one forward just a little bit. Move this one aft a little bit. Yeah, we don't want to get that big of an aft offset. We're not going to have very good firing angles at all on this thing. Like, the firing... It's not horrendous, but it's not good either. But it's a very short ship. Like, it's not a very long ship at all. That's what she said, right? All right, let's look at secondaries. Uh, casemates. Do we have anywhere... We can put three-inch casemates in this thing. So we might as well do that. There's no more casemate mounts. Yeah, so... Three inch casemates. That brings our total tonnage up to 9,800 tons. What about secondaries? We can get an 18... Or eight inch secondary... Double barrels. I thought maybe we could stick it there, but... Clearly not. Oh, look at these 8-inch guns on this ship. Good lord. Yeah, you're not going to get those on there. Uh, what about 5-inch secondaries? We can definitely get 5-inch guns on here. Okay, can we get bigger? 6-inch. Yes, we can. How about 7-inch? No. 7 inches is clearly too much. So, 6-inch secondaries are what we're going with. So yeah, we'll just slap those on there and there. Let's see. What else can we do here? We need some armor. That's for darn sure. We've got 9.2 inches of belt armor. That's not bad, actually. Uh, and we are going to be using that belt armor. Make no mistake. We are getting up close and personal in this one because we ain't going to be able to hit crap. So, uh, how much belt armor can we get? Let's go 10 inches of belt armor. Uh, five point two inches of belt extended. It's not a lot of armor, but it is armor. And we are right at our weight limit. Now, can we save weight? Absolutely. We could probably get rid of these casemates, even though I don't want to. Uh, I like to, if I have casemates on a ship, like casemate gun of ports, I'm going to use them. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and set, set sail as is. Now, we are bringing five of these ships, so this should be a formidable force. Uh, fully capable of handling its own. Now, these are 4.1 million apiece, so that would make 20... We'll just call it 20.5 million. A little over 20.8 20, million. I'm sure we'll add it up. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. 
Let's get into this. Two battleships. That is a very large battleship. Look at our little tiny battleship. Look at their big old battleship. Heck, their cruisers are bigger than mine. All right. Let's start this. All right. Uh, the enemy is to the north, so let's go ahead and turn in. Speed up time. Hope you guys are ready. We're in for some uh, rough seas ahead. We get 480 rounds of main battery ammo. The enemy is supposedly directly north of us. Remember, we're starting relatively close range, too. We just can't see anything because we don't have radar or anything like that. So we got to get up close and personal. Make sure everybody's following us here. It does appear to be. Remember, we're not exactly fast. Oh, we got our first engagement, guys. Go ahead, drop that speed down. Come on, guys. Let's get a hit. Go ahead. Change course. All right, let's go ahead and pause. Let's look at their armored, well, these are their battleships. Look at those massive guns. Those are really derpy looking guns. But look ridiculously big. All right. Uh, how about their armored cruisers? You got first Bismarck, okay. Or is that Furst? Would that be Furst? <laughs> I have no idea. But uh, I don't see any torpedoes. So that's good. Actually, they do have torpedoes. They have two of them. They've got underwater torp launchers. Lovely. Loverly. All right. Let's get back to watching this fight. Let's change our targets over to those battleships. Because those things have really big guns that could do a lot of hurt. If we shift click, does that put our secondaries on it? No. Control click? No. I know one thing, we better start landing some hits. Let's go ahead and turn out, engage this target. We've got a fire on board. Let's go full left rudder. Oh, 
Come on, guns. Got a hit. And if that's all the damage we're gonna get out of freaking 10 inch guns, we're in trouble. Had the, the aiming glitch. At this range, these 10 inch guns should rip his ship apart. There it is. That's what we were looking for. There goes the heavy cruiser. Very nice. Keep the turn happening. Let's, uh, yeah, you guys are already firing at him. And that light cruiser has torpedoes as well. It has three of them. So that is probably a single tube launcher. Looks like we're getting some hits over there, which is good. It's definitely getting some hits here, but not the big hits that I was looking for. He's using smoke. Looks like our guys are about to finish that guy off. There we go. There's a big hit and a flood. Go ahead, pause. That was our second kill on a heavy cruiser. So we want to go back to this line, have them start circling back. All right. And go ahead and go back to three times speed here. As close as these guys are, their smoke screen shouldn't make much of a difference. There we go. We got some flooding. More flooding. All right, that light cruiser's dead. So one of their two light cruisers is gone. Let's hope we can get some flooding hits. There's a flood. And down he goes. Big hit. Very nice. Let our ships work these guys over. The secondary should be enough to kill these freaking torp boats. So let's go ahead. Oh, Jesus. Oh! I wasn't paying attention! No! You must survive, Democrity! Come on, survive! 
You stupid destroy I am gonna I'm lo I'm gonna lose my mind. Stupid kamikaze torp boat. Kill him. Man, that's frustrating. Kill that man. All right, where's our other division? You guys are making your way back as quickly as you can anyway. Man, I wasn't paying attention. That guy snuck up on us. Okay, we still have torpedoes out there. These guys only get a single torp, and that guy made his count. He went full-on kamikaze mode. Fire the guns. these guys speed anyway these guys are capable of 24 and a half knots that's really fast for the time period got a fire dude our, our just our main guns are not hitting these little freaking targets Come on, finish him, he's coming in. Come on, baby, there we go, and a flood, and another hit. One more good hit and he should go down. I mean, his entire ship is on fire. There he goes. Down he goes. All right, these guys have not dropped their torps yet, so we still got to be careful about torps. Let's save our main guns um, for the battleships. All right, how's our second line doing? We are long ways away from everybody. Just have you guys turn in. So, uh, Jurgleberry. Come on, baby. We are getting very, very uncomfortably close. We have knocked out his engines. There we got a hit. I can't believe we lost the battleship because one destroyer decided to yellow. We don't if we're not careful, we're gonna lose another one. I don't know where his torp tube is, but we've gotta be within range. There we got a good hit and a flood. 
Slow down! No! Dang it, man! These stupid freaking torp boats and their torps! And we know we're not gonna be able to survive it. Actually, actually, Jargleberry here says he can take it. Somehow. He seems to be okay. I have no idea what this name is. I've just called him Jargleberry because that's the closest I can come up with. All right. It's down to these guys coming in to do their thing. Let's go ahead and intercept this because that torp. Intercept the battleship. And let this guy do what he's got to do against this freaking destroyer or torp boat. He's dead in the water. And this torp boat is circling. He's only got one torp. He's got to make it count. Come on, boys. Let's show these battleships what's what. We got Byron and Hessen. We're at three kilometers from them. And we've got some sort of freaking aiming glitch, of course, because you got to have that. I really hope they fix that aiming glitch in the near future. Looks like our guys are actually starting to get some hits over there on that torp boat, which is great. Our guys over here, though, are swinging a miss. I don't understand why we're not locking on. Lock the freaking guns, man. You telling me you can't see the man? He can't get any closer. Okay, we've got a lock. But we're still missing battleships at point blank. Let's switch over to the second target. They just got a flood on us, which is not good. You can see they are definitely hitting us. And our guys can't hit them back. It's the worst freaking thing in the world. They get 12 inch guns too. How goes the fight over here? Almost got the torp boat gone. They still haven't gotten in range to drop torps on us. Not being able to hit targets is just frustrating, man. Because they're not struggling to hit us. 
We've got three ships shooting at two, and our three ships can't hit them, but their two ships can hit us. And they supposedly have older tech than us. And how fast are they capable? They're capable of 16 knots as well. So our battleship speed is pretty comparable. But they got a lot bigger guns than us. See Province, St. Louis, and Magenta have all taken some pretty nasty hits. I mean, when we do eventually hit, there's a big hit! Massive hit! That's what we needed. That appears like it's gonna be enough to take him out. Then again, he seems to have stopped it. But it's definitely gonna slow him down. It's also gonna make him less accurate, and it should make us more accurate. We got the gun aiming glitch again, where it just refuses to lock on. There we got lock. He's sitting so low in the water now, it's going to actually be hard to hit him. We are starting to score some hits, but need a better hit up to the front. We already destroyed one of his turrets. turn in. We are leaving ourselves way too open to this guy. Come on, guys. Hit the freaking ship. Dude is less than a kilometer away from you. shots man this is stupid just hit the freaking ship you blew off his turret took half his health with one penetration why are we not able to hit him again 50% chance to hit there we go Once again, the freaking glitch where you can't freaking lock on. They, they've got to fix it, man. This is insane. This is actually insane. To be missing a target that big from this close is stupid. There we go. Two floods. That should do it.
All right, turn hard. How much ammo do they got left? What about our other ship? Still has the torp boat here, but he's firing over here at this guy. He's got the secondaries firing at the torp boat. He's only moving three and a half knots. We're gonna try to get over in front of this guy. We know they're susceptible to flash fires if we can get a good hit need to get a good hit. Come on, guys. There we go. Got a flood. And every flood in this frickin' fight is massive. There we got a second flood. Very nice. That's going to do it. And then there was one. Our ships are badly beaten, but overall they're healthy. And they managed to pump out all the water. Well, with the exception of Yargleberry over here. We're getting hits. That's big. Remember, he doesn't have much in the way of health left. I mean, I don't know how this ship is still afloat, considering the waves are going over the top of the ship. You can see the uh, six inch guns coming in. There's a big hit, that's gonna do it. That was a 10 inch gun hit, and down he goes. All right, guys. So we went into the fight, we, we came out victorious, and unfortunately, we lost a ship doing so. We went in with five, we came home with four. So uh, unfortunate, but we took two torpedoes, one of them killed us, one of us one of them didn't. And so, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'll leave uh, the totals as far as the cost and everything right now, probably, if you're probably already seen it. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.